Today we're going to be shooting another behind the scenes b-roll demonstration out here at this beautiful location. For those of you who haven't seen these types of videos that I do, we basically shoot a b-roll section and I show you guys a kind of live, like raw style behind the scenes of how we actually capture it. And then towards the end of the video, we put all the clips together and show you guys what we managed to come up with. Just to give you guys an idea of what we're going to be doing. First off, I'm shooting on my usual setup, A7 III Tamron 28-75 lens. We are out here at a beach style location. We've got all these cool rocks and these cool pathways. For this bureau section, we are going to be using a person, shooting a person, which is going to be Hannah, of course. And it's going to be like a nice view with like the ocean and everything. And that's where I want to film a lot of the video and that's where it's going to look really beautiful. We're going to move further back into the bushes a little bit here and we're going to get some cool shots of Hannah walking down to this location. What this does is just creates a way more of like a flow to it and you can start to kind of establish a bit of a beginning, a middle and then an end that's going to make the viewer way more invested in this little sequence that you're filming. Something that I think is so important and a dead giveaway of someone who really knows what they're doing and someone who doesn't really know what they're doing is pacing and how you structure your video to like have a bit of a build up. So a nice way of doing this is by using music. Whenever I'm filming, a lot of you guys ask this, I don't know what track I'm gonna be using for the edit that I'm gonna be creating. But something that I do know is that I'm almost definitely gonna be picking a song that starts off slow, has a bit of a build up, and then kind of towards the beginning, there's gonna be a bit of a drop and a climax where the music like goes up to like a way more energetic higher level slow smooth start where you can use the beginning of your video in that build-up process that we were talking about of having Hannah walk here and then when she gets to that payoff which is that viewpoint we're gonna have a nice that climax and a drop of the music and it's gonna build up like an energy but something I like to focus on while I'm filming like that is that I know all of these beginning shots are gonna be in that slow part of that song so I'm gonna film my shots to match that so Hannah's not going to be doing too much movement or anything too crazy. We're going to get some nice smooth shots. We don't need that many cuts in our shots. But then once we get further down, we're going to get a lot more angles so we can do a lot more cuts. We're going to get Hannah to do more movements and more energetic things. And it's just going to flow better with the music. And that is one of my favorite things to do. You can like create the video that goes like with this flow with the music and everything. And it works way better and makes it so much better in the end. One way I like to do it is starting off with a really big wide establishing shot and I'll get that as my master shot and it'll be a nice long shot of the whole part of this and then after that I'll do medium and close up shots of certain sections that I think are interesting. So we're going to do one nice wide shot of Hannah kind of walking under these trees. I'm going to start from behind her and another thing that we can do for the beginning of the video is start like this and pan down and do a bit of a reveal shot as we're moving in with Hannah. That creates a cool like opening kind of shot and it's one of my favorite ways to open videos so we're gonna do that on this one. Let's give it a go. Starting looking up and then panning down. Okay, let's go. It's kind of tricky because I'm shooting handheld and I'm trying to get like walking. Generally, I wouldn't want to walk too much. I would just do like rocking back and forth like this. It's a way easier way of keeping your shot not too shaky. You can get away with a lot when shooting videos, but shaky footage is not something that you want to put in your videos. It's a dead giveaway between like amateur and pro video. We can do a few things. We can use warp stabilizer and stuff like that afterwards if we have to. But otherwise, I'm just really trying to walk like softly and keep my knees bent and like keep my camera nice and stable. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to decide a direction for Hannah to be going in the frame. I mentioned this in all of my videos and I think it's one of the most important things. If I decide Hannah needs to be going one direction in my footage, I want to keep it that way for the rest of the video. If you have Hannah walking through the frame this way in one shot and then it cuts to another shot of her walking the other way, it kind of doesn't make sense. It has like a weird continuity issue. It's called a reverse shot when you're doing it in film and you shouldn't do it unless you're doing it for a reason. For this case, we're going to pick Hannah going from left to right because I want to be looking out this way for the most part of the video. So Hannah's going to be going this way in our frame. I'm going to move over there and get some close up detail shots of Hannah walking through here from 
that side and we're going to stay on that side for the rest of the video as content creators it's super important to market yourself in a professional and effective way and that's why i want to take a quick second to talk about today's sponsor which is universe universe is a mobile website builder that is super simple but really effective and allows you to build a website like really quickly like almost within minutes in today's world being a content creator is really competitive and if you guys can get anything to just set yourself apart from the crowd and help you to look more professional that's going to really help you to progress in this industry and having something like a professional website where you can showcase all your work to potential clients is going to be hugely effective and using universe is a really easy way that you guys can set up your own website you you can set up a place for potential clients to see your portfolio or your body of work that you're proud of or you can even create an online store for your followers to check out some of your products that you might be selling anyone can sign up for free and if you guys do enjoy it you can upgrade to a pro version where you'll unlock more features things like online payments or even custom domains so guys if you are looking to build your own website check out universe i'm going to leave them down in the description let's get back to the video I know you guys can't see Hannah that well, she's out there, out of these trees, but I've come back here into these trees because I want to get a nice shot with all this foreground and get one of Hannah walking past. Okay, that looks really cool. Something else that I wanted to mention is when you are getting sideways shots and you're getting shots of people walking or facing a certain direction, give them a bit of what's called nose room. So like in this frame, I wanna be on this side of the frame if I'm gonna be on one side because I'm looking that way. I wouldn't wanna be all the way down here because you're cutting off my front and it gives like a bit of a claustrophobic feel. So as Hannah's walking down here, I'll put her like on the back third of the frame so that she has like some room to walk into in the frame. It just makes it a little bit better and a little more pleasing. Something that Hannah did is she kind of like brushed her hands along these leaves as she was walking through that path and the shot I got was quite a wide one of that so now we're going to get another shot but a much more close-up shot of her hands going there and then we can cut that with our master shot and cut back to the master shot at any time if we need to so what we're going to do is come with Hannah like quite close and then just get a shot of maybe her shoulders and her hands and then also get like one really close-up shot of her hands so then we have like a nice medium shot and a really nice tight shot Let's try one super close up of the hand as it just brushes the tree. Okay. I'm gonna have these really nice cutaway shots and shots that reveal kind of where we are. So there's a nice viewpoint from here. I'm gonna get a couple of shots just like showing this and I can cut that between like Hannah walking in different locations and stuff. It's a really nice way to like push the story further and go from one like kind of location to the next one. Another thing that allows you to do if any of your shots don't really work right next to each other when you're cutting them together, you can insert like a cutaway. That's why it's called a cutaway of something cool around you like some close up cool movement of that palm tree over there or like some cool rock or just a view like this. You have to remember that the viewer only sees what you show them and if you're only showing them a very small portion of what's going on around you that's all they're going to see so we get some nice establishing shots which are exactly that they're going to establish where you are now that we're in like kind of a new terrain like it looks very different from that bush part now i want to get a really nice big wide shot of hannah kind of arriving here and getting out to this cool viewpoint so i'm going to stay up here i found these really nice flowers to use as foreground and hannah's going to walk out here staying from left to right and kind of arrive at this section i'm gonna jump on here i hope you guys can see me but let's try and get the shot quickly okay good the wide one looks really cool now i'm gonna get a close up with all this foreground and see how that one looks There's an interesting little part where Hannah comes over here and jumps across the rock. That's a great little part where we can capture some action and use that for the more energetic part of our scene where the music kind of drops, where we're going to use lots of movement and nice fast cuts. So we're going to get a couple of shots of that and then cut them in with Hannah arriving. There you go.
That looks really cool. If you guys saw it now, and I'm keeping some of these rocks as foreground, so as I slide, you can really get a sense of that movement coming across. Okay, we're gonna get a couple of shots of Hannah kind of just walking out and then being on the end and doing cool stuff. I'm just gonna move around. I'm gonna move around her and capture lots of different little angles and then later on, I can pick the best little ones that I want. So I'm just gonna like kind of free flow around her and like capture whatever I think looks cool. So let's give that a go right now. That's cool. I also want to show how Hannah is reacting to the view and reacting to this environment that she's in. That's a great way of personalizing it. It's going to be more meaningful when there's actually something to relate to, which is going to be another person. And we can show how Hannah's taking in this scene and this view. A nice way to do that is just to get some nice close-ups of her face and capture some of that emotion that she's feeling by being in this like epic scenery. So that's what we're going to do now. Just get some close-ups of Hannah's face, like taking it all in. That's gonna work really nicely. We're gonna to have to wait for some sun to come up <laughs> because it's really cloudy now, but let's give it a go. Yeah, and like looking at the view, but like looking, like facing towards the view, looking at the view, not the fence. capture the waves breaking and then we're also going to capture like some of the waves crashing up on the rocks here that'll be like a really nice thing to include in the edits we can use some slow motion then the other thing I'm gonna do with my shots is just like in the beginning I kept all my shots moving forward and that like brings the viewer further in now that it's the ending and the viewer is gonna be leaving we're gonna kind of show our shots going backwards and coming out and that's just going to create like a bit more of that ending type of feeling so let's quickly get it while the sun's out because we're struggling a bit with these clouds but um it's gonna look cool let's get a shot of hannah just sitting here Almost like an establishing shot, you have a super wide ending shot that like kind of leaves the scene and like that kind of leaves the scene and ends with that like subject being far away in the distance. Nice way to end it. That is the last shot that we're gonna need. This is a little edit that I managed to put together. I put some music in the background, some sound effects, some cool editing tricks, some slow motion, speed ramping, warp stabilizer. This whole video, I'm gonna have an editing tutorial on if you guys wanna watch, but let's check out the edit and see what you guys think. That's it guys, what do you think of that edit? I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found some of those tips useful. We had loads of fun out here shooting this video and I have a tutorial coming showing you guys how I actually edited this sequence, so stay tuned for that. Other than that, if you guys wanna check out the lots that I used to grade this entire video as well as that sequence, they are linked down in the description and they're still 25% off just for a little longer. So go check them out if you guys are interested. The support is always appreciated. That's gonna be it for this one guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hit like if you liked. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more. And I will see you in the next week's video. Peace.